If you cringe at anything in today's video, you win. It means your brain is still firing, it's still working, and you have not succumbed to the current wave of hysteria and outrage going on in the country. So if you cringe, that's a good thing, and you win. Before we start today's game, I just want to let you guys know that there is now a Z Education Discord server. So if you are on Discord, please come join us. Lots of memes, lots of good conversation. So after this video, head down to the link in the description, and I hope to see you there. Now, on to today's game. Starting with the influencers. The influencers. I, I, I don't know how that term ever started getting used. Who are these people influencing? Other idiots who want to post fake pictures for likes? I don't get it. But these influencers, they have taken full advantage of this situation as you're about to see again. And if you saw the last episode, then you saw influencers taking advantage of the protests for the photo op. But there are a lot more examples since the last episode. Oh, yeah, get in the street there. Get in the street. Hold the sign. Black Lives Matter. Yeah. Oh, flare the dress. Look at this one. Wow. Taking a chair out into the street and everything. It's not even like a regular fold-out chair. That looks like kind of a, a decorative chair, too. Wow. And how about these? Look at this. Jump. Get, did you get it? Jump. <laughs> Jump. With the, the military in the background. Oh, yeah. Getting all dressed up with the military in the background. Get it? You got it, honey? Yep. Yeah. Oh, do a different angle there. Windows all boarded up. Oh, let's move to this side. Yeah. And then you have more blackface. 90,000 likes. Wow. Just a... We solved it, guys. We solved it. I was really, really disappointed that the black squares didn't work. I thought that that was going to solve the entire thing. I thought it was going to work. I thought posting the black squares was going to work. I'm very disappointed. But now, maybe this is the answer. Maybe it is. Maybe these people, these influencers posting pictures of blackface, maybe this is what's going to do it. And here's another one. Like, if you're not racist... There you have it. If you don't like this, you're a racist. Solving the world's issues. Solving the world's issues. <laughs> and then this one. What an idiot. <laughs> but guys, you know, aside from your Instagram posts and, you know, taking advantage of the photo op, there is some real change that you can do. You can be like these two people. Yeah. Show them. Show those police officers. Mmm. Ooh. Trump it. Mm. Break it down. That is, oh man, what a statement. That It's ending it. Guys, we're, we're watching all of this end because of this artistic dance. This crumpage. It, it's so, it brings a tear to my eye. It does. Look at that. Get him. Get him. Mm. Mm -mm. What a statement. What a statement. Mm. Crump, 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 crump. I, guys, so much progress. So much is being done. To, oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I also want to take this video as an opportunity to remind you about the, the stunning leadership that we have, like Al Sharpton. Who is pictured here on the tarmac of his private jet? Al? What? private jet look at that he's trying to pretend like he doesn't notice the camera he's like oh man you know what i gotta give it to him he won he he won he is in his 70s now for decades he has tricked and duped everyone and he has sold and peddled outrage and done nothing to fix it nothing to fix anything while at the same time getting rich and flying in private jets yet yeah, bravo Bravo, Mr. Sharpton. Your leadership of just saying, get angry. It's amazing. It has done so much. That's it. Get angry. That is such true leadership. So, great work. And, I'm, you know, you deserve the private jet off the backs of the people that fall victim to your narratives. It's been a whole week. Anybody who keeps saying all lives matter is a fascist, they're Nazis, they're literal white supremacists. Those are literal KKK members. So anybody saying all lives matter, thank you for outing yourself. Now I know who you are. Uh, there you go. There you go. And this is exactly why you cannot have a conversation with anyone because people are irrational. She literally, li and I mean that, I quote that, literally thinks that there are Nazis everywhere. There are 60 million plus Nazis that voted for Trump. 
I pity her. I pity her. It's sad. I can't believe she lives in that reality. And, you know, I, I hope she can start using her own brain soon. Satanic temple. Satanic temple? We're atheists and we're Satanists. Are you for or against Trump? We're against Trump. Why? Why do you think he's going to take most of our rights away? Not happy about that. We want to protect you. Because it... Where it comes off the metal. He's gonna take most of our rights away. You know what's funny about that is that was what was said before he was even elected in late 2016, before the election. It was he's gonna take away rights. It's almost four years later, and no rights have been taken away. So what rights and when is he gonna do it on a serious note i actually have a friend who back in 2016 thought that his trans sister was going to be put in a camp if trump won he actually thought that full-heartedly hysterically thought that and was willing to do whatever he could to prevent trump from getting elected he thought that they were gonna be put in camps he did and that hasn't happened because it's not going to happen because that is false Outrage. It, that's not going to happen. But people still believe this. I don't get it. I don't understand how you can still believe this. Keep scooting back for me, man. Don't stand up for me, miss. These Nazis are tormenting our children. Hey, these Nazis are tormenting America. It's okay. It's going to be okay. Where are the adults? Pause here. Her shirt says, be gay, do crime. I think that's worth noting as she's getting arrested. You know, she is literally promoting doing crime i'm not sure what the be gay part has to do with it honestly i don't it doesn't make much sense but now she's crying she's saying do crime and she's getting arrested and now she's crying about it where are our veterans here are our leaders Sir, she's having a are we being arrested <laughs> <Our politicians. laughs> What are no, they doing right now? Us. Well, hey guys, 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 guys. and the fastest are we being arrested? Brutalize our kids. They aren't letting this young nice. woman have her dialysis. She's my sister. I need to calm her down. She's having a panic attack. Excuse me, sir. Sir. This young woman have her dialysis. Sir. She's going to have to pass out. Sir. 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 I just want to throw this out there. If you are prone to this, Maybe you shouldn't be committing crimes. If you think this could happen, maybe you should not be willing to face the punishment for doing what you're doing. I don't even know what you're doing. Apparently, you're getting arrested for something. But if you are prone to this, I'm just gonna... Logic. Don't go out and commit crimes if you're gonna have a panic attack. Not to mention the fact that you're promoting doing crime and then... <laughs> You're upset when you do crime and get in trouble for it. The resistance, everybody. This is the resistance. Oh, yeah. That is pretty tragic. The military. The military kneeling with protesters. Here's my problem with this. is You watch the State of the Union, and you see all the military generals. They're all sitting there, and they don't react to anything. On purpose, because the military is supposed to be unbiased. It's not supposed to take a side. It's supposed to be non-political. For a reason. For a reason. We need the military to stay out of that stuff. And then you go and see stuff like this. You see military personnel being activists. This is not okay. This is not your job. This is not what you're supposed to be doing. Whoever is in charge of this squadron needs to be fired. Needs to be demoted and punished. This is not okay. The military should not be participating in any single protest ever. 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 I don't care what it is about. You. They should not be participating. Period. And then you have the Minneapolis mayor. Wow. Down, down, do your thing, do your thing, do your thing, down, down. This is not a leader. This, oh my, mm. oh man. Are those capris or did he roll those up? Did he buy those like that? Just wondering, I mean, personally just wondering. Oh, dude. It's pretty hard to be bad at this dance. It's pretty damn hard to be bad at this dance. But he is terrible. This is poor. This is poor. And this, everybody, this is exactly why Minneapolis is in the situation that it's in. Terrible, terrible leadership.
weak leadership. So weak, in fact, that he went down to talk to his constituents, talk to the voters of his, his city about police brutality. And they said, are you for defunding police or not? And I have to give it to him. He said he is not for defunding the police. But then this is what happened after he said that. They booed him out of the crowd. And this is how he shamefully walked through them. And I have to say again that I I applaud him for standing his ground and saying, no, we're not going to defund the police. But then he reacted like this and he bent over like this. That is such terrible leadership. This is why things are happening in Minneapolis like they're happening. Nobody is taking control there. There's no local government. The government is just letting this stuff happen, letting buildings burn down, letting businesses crumble and now they're leaving don't be like mayor fry everyone don't be like him what is happening right now is insanity and this is unfortunately what a lot of radical left wingers want they want this because in order to put in a new and radical system you need to do new and radical things to get rid of the old system and that's what we're seeing right now plainly put this is what we are and they're using racial division as a vehicle to create that change. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. What do you think about all these cringy people, all of these social justice warriors demanding change, but doing nothing really of substance to try and actually change it? Let me know in the comments. While you're down there, please like this video. Please help me get it recommended to others. Also, be sure to head over to Discord. That's it for today's video. Until next time, I'm Tyler Zed, and this is Education. Idiots.